Hey guys, uh, it's Matt. Uh, I'm gonna do a disking video. Uh, I just took off the snow plow. Um, so, if you can check that video out, check it out. And uh, I think I've got all my pins. Yep. I gotta run out, and uh, first of all, we're gonna start off on getting the plow out. They're all coming back. Rides so much nicer with the uh, chains on. Time to go back and do some adjusting and overall cleaning. Yeah, but as you can see, it's all nicely plowed up and the weeds are starting to come up. So I want to plow them up before it gets too far.
they want to stop. And just before the uh, in here where it's not windy so uh yeah i'm gonna do some uh cleaning and overall maintenance and crap the story behind these is i bought these for and and the uh snow plow well, not snow plow the uh, dirt plow the 193 pretty sure it is from a guy down the road here um, he had him sitting here. He's had a cub for a couple years now. He's had one for actually years because they bought it new. And uh, he really didn't have anything else to do for it. They were just sitting there. Uh, plow had never been used. I uh, wore the original paint off of it. You know, it sat inside, but he just, you know, put it inside. He, he was sitting inside and he just recently put it outside because he wanted to make some more space in the barn but uh yeah yeah so these are going to get a healthy dose of grease and uh, some pins are going to get moved around so uh yeah so let's get some uh, wrenches hammer Oil can and the grease gun. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I probably should have grabbed it in the first place. <laughs> now. There are needle nose pliers. And some old fashioned cotter keys. Because these bars, uh, this one's missing the cotter key. <laughs> I'm not gonna put a cutter. I'll put a uh, what you call it in there. A uh, clip pen, brake pen, or whatever they're called. It's actually right now. I have no clue where they are. <laughs> Anyways, regardless of how good of shape they're in. They're thirsty. Take a lot.
yard. There's that one. There we go. That one's spinning nice and freely. He's spinning nice and freely as is to begin with. But it's always nice to get a good, nice, thick coat of grease in there. Well, I guess you guys are going to see how to put in a grease tube. Because <laughs> I don't feel like doing anything. Right now my video, video editing thing is all screwed up right now, so it's not letting me edit videos. <sighs> Multi-purpose lithium grease. Traveler. They're not bad. Let's go inside here. What's that? I'm getting a low battery warning. But I think it had to go a little bit longer. So, I'm going to unscrew this. Yep. We go. Now, pull the one cap off. Open the other side. Now you put the tube of grease back in, screw it back up, and you pop a little thing and push your thing forward, and there you go, you got grease. That simple. Okay, one reason I keep getting a little battery warning, but... Okay. So, oh boy, are these ah. it should not be this hard. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now you know I got a nice thick coat of grease. With my old can. Oil some of this. Oil this up. Lift the bar up. Look at that. 
Roll that. Roll these. Roll any bar that gets any kind of movement on it. Oil's your friend. And, uh, that's about it. So let's go do some plowing. Or disking, sorry. So, hop on the tractor. Start up said tractor. And drive it away. So look at that, that vibrates a lot when I do that. So, uh, sit back and enjoy the, uh, 